preservar, cuidar e economizar água. Tem que saber o quanto a água é preciosa. There's not a great amount of water that is, you know, that we can actually use on this planet. We're so used to it, we don't, we don't, we, I don't think we ever feel like we waste it. It's around, it's around education. Right from the education, uh, very beginning from the school, we should teach the new generation to love, the, to protect the water resource. I think it's true that people are not appreciating that water globally is becoming increasingly scarce. If you go back 100 years, 200 years, we used to have relative abundance in most parts of the world. And as our population grows to 7 billion plus, we're using a lot more of it uh, in more parts of the world. Uh, and we are reaching the limits of supply in, in many parts. Uh, I think globally agriculture is 80% of the water use. Industrial is maybe 12% and then only 8% is used by residents. Well, as you get into parts of the world where a drought hits or where it is, uh, where acute water scarcity is pronounced, then the government uh, water resource agencies have launched education campaigns to try to help the public understand uh, where their water comes from, uh, the nature of the limited supply and how to manage it better. Uh, in parts of the world where water is relatively abundant, you don't see those types of government outreach and awareness campaigns. They don't exist. Uh, and that, that feeds a perception of the, of the population that it's not a resource that they need to care much about. Um, they can expect it to be there when they turn on their taps if they have taps. For the last uh, five years of the World Economic Forum's uh, Global Risks Report, water has been in the top five uh, in terms of impact. And that's the, reflecting the views of CEOs and C-suite types from global companies uh, that have recognized this problem. So it's not a new issue in the perception of the business community particularly large companies. Uh, I would argue though that one of the issues that we are, we are forgetting and that we need to bring into the public discourse is not how little water we have, it's how it's distributed. Um, we still have millions, hundreds of millions of people around the world that don't have adequate access to safe drinking water. There's a lot of work to be done and a lot of awareness that needs to be raised in order to tackle this problem in the next 15 years of the sustainable development goals that the UN has put in place. If we uh, put our minds to it, we'll be able to manage it in a way where supply and demand is balanced in basins around the world. It'll cost us more than it does today to do that because of the way we mismanage water. Um, but that cost is something that will be worthwhile and, and society will realize and appreciate the value to, to investing in water resources at base and scale.